Hey people, it's Larry again. Hey, I had a really good day, first day on the new job, and figured I'd come out here and tinker. And tinker I did. I guess there's something to be said for a job where uh, your drive to work involves nothing more than walking from your, your bedroom, and stopping by the kitchen for coffee, and continuing from there to your geek room. I guess there's also something to be said for a uh, nagging old lady who's jealous of your, your new job and finds fault with everything you did that day. Whoops, I guess the cable company might have made a mess when they installed the, the new service here. I'm really not worried about her hearing that because I just told her that about an hour ago. And she doesn't watch these videos anyway because I'm pretty sure she's convinced that I'm as clueless as the day is long. At any rate, my tinkering that I did today involved some new LED floodlights that arrived in the mail. And as you can see here, I built this little UFO, as I call it, that has a 50-watt, uh, 3000K fixture in the middle, and it's flanked by two 30-watt uh, 6500K fixtures that aim downward to provide light to the bottom sides of the towers and down to my little uh, tube of grow cups, planter cups, whatever. As you can see there, uh, the you might have noticed the board that went across there that had my single tube fixtures of uh, T5s that's gone now because yeah I don't need it it's hard to tell by this camera because of the way it adjusts its light balance all the time but the light out here is just outrageously freaking bright um, <clears throat> if you look at this it's just those fixtures attached attached to a 2 by 2 and then double the chains go up and attach to my Guala Light Rail 3 light mover. Um, for those people that are still confused about where to get these things or who even makes it, their website is lightrail3.com, although they do have a Light Rail 4. I haven't upgraded to that because I just frankly haven't found that I needed it yet. But I have three 50 watt 6500k fixtures mounted overhead and there's one fixture for every two towers and then my light rail moves my little UFO back and forth at a rate of four feet per minute and it pauses at each end for 20 seconds and then reverses It happens to hit my rogue tomato plant there. Stupid thing. This thing was a runt plant in a three inch uh, planter. I thought for sure it was gonna die. Stuck it in my rain gutter down there and what do you know, the thing ex exploded and did this in a little over two months. Maybe I'll get some cherry tomatoes off of it. Maybe I won't. But I just thought this is kind of amusing. Uh, I really wish the camera did justice and showed how bright it is out here. The company that I'm working for, they're sending me an iPhone, so maybe the camera and the iPhone will outperform this and I'll be able to shoot some more accurate videos. If you look at the light rail or where the chains attach, I had to double up on the chains because the thing would shake like crazy when it hit the stops on each end with just one chain on each end of the little UFO. It shakes a lot less now. If it looks like there's more shaking than what I'm saying, it's probably me shaking. Stupid little problem of mine. If you ever get bored, look up chronic Lyme disease on the internet. This shit does some really weird stuff to you. Going on 20 years now of this, and I still haven't gotten used to it. But at any rate, I just figured I'd shoot this really quick because I think it's kind of freaky looking.
And I think UFO is probably a really good name for this device. That's all. We'll catch you next time. Maybe this weekend. I don't know yet. Might have a little too much fun with the new job. I love tinkering with people's computers from remote. That's all. Bye.